Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Roblox Blockstrap. So if you don't already know, Roblox Blockstrap is an FPS unlocker and it also lets you do many other things such as uncapping your Roblox graphics quality to up to 21 instead of 10. So it's really cool and there's a lot of other features along with it that you can check in the settings and everything. It's completely safe. The Roblox YouTuber Sharkbox actually posted a video and used this. So if you believe that your Roblox account will get banned, there's practically no risk at all considering that someone like him would use it on his main account as well. So all you're gonna do is go to the link in the description and it's gonna bring you to this GitHub page. So if you don't already know how to use GitHub, you're just gonna wanna go here down here where it says installing. Once you're here, it's gonna say download the latest release of Blockstrap. You're just gonna wanna click on here and it's gonna bring you to Blockstrap v2.5.4. If not, then it's been updated, but you wanna make sure it says latest right here. So once you're here, you're just gonna wanna click on this thing with this little icon right here and it's gonna ask you to download it. So you're just gonna click on save. So I already have it, that's why it says one. If you never downloaded it before, then I won't say that. It doesn't really matter. So you just wanna click on this once you downloaded it or open it essentially. And it's gonna open up this page right here. So I'm gonna just be showing you guys how to uncap your FPS using this along with the feature that lets you increase your graphics quality. But there's many other features that you might wanna you know tinker with in here which are really cool so i may or may not show them but the main like premises of the video is for me to show you that those two things so let's go start it so you're gonna want to go to uh mods first The first thing you want to go to is actually fast flags In fast flags you're going to see the setting that says frame rate limit so it's going to already be at 165 if you believe your computer is going to do 165 i would just leave it at that but if you have a really good computer that's like super high end i would just uncap it you don't need a good computer for this either but i'm just going to put 9999 and it's going to basically put the max amount of FPS that your computer can handle based off of like, you know, the graphics quality you're using and all that. It's going to make the game look a lot smoother, no matter what computer you're using. But if you have like a bad computer, then you may want to not do this because it actually can make your computer lag a little bit. As long as you're using, if, if you're not lagging right now, then I personally would just leave it or uncap it. Oh my god, let's just let this Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to show you guys how to enable or edit is the FPS cap. So, you're going to want to go into appearance. So, the first setting that I'm going to be showing you guys is how to uncap your FPS. So you're going to want to go into the fast flags tab and you're going to see something that says frame rate limit. It's going to be set at 165, but if you want to uncap it to get as much as your computer or device can get, you're going to want to go to 9999. That's what it says for you to basically put no limit because it's such a big number that you're likely not going to be reaching it anyways. So it's going to get to as much as I can. Now there's other settings here. The most important setting here, which is the other thing I told you about earlier, was use alternate graphics quality selector. So it says that it normally has 1 to 10, but this enables it that you're able to get up to 21. I'm going to enable this setting. It may lag, but it doesn't hurt to enable the setting because you can still go to 10, except that's not the max anymore. Now the max is 21. So enable it if you want. If you're lagging or not even using 10, there's no point of using it but you know it's cool to have and do what you like no one's stopping you now these other settings you can go through them but i personally don't really enable any of these 
might want to enable this, but I don't actually see the difference in game. So enable it if you want, but I don't really see a difference. Now the next page you want to go to for less important things is the mod thing. So it's already going to be on once you download this, but it's going to say use old death sound. So I think it's kind of cool, you know, if you like the old oof sound, which happens when you die, I would just leave this on. It's a great setting, you know, and it's pretty cool because the new one, although I've gotten used to it, it's not as good as the old one. And we have mouse cursor, so you're able to choose between three different settings. The default, which is the one that you probably have prior to downloading Blockstrap. Then the 2013 one, which I don't know if you guys remember, but it's the one prior to this. And then the 2006 cartoony one, which if you like, you like. I personally like the 2013 one, so I'll go with that. It's up to you though, you guys can test between the three. Choose which one you like the most. I like the 2013 one because it's pretty classic. I'm getting kind of tired of the new one anyway, so going back to 2013. Then we have use av old avatar editor background, so I'm enabling this because I kind of miss it. I like the old avatar editor anyways. It doesn't change the general like editing of your character, but it changes the background. So instead of just the blocky cubes in the back, it's just going to be this like room with a changing room basically. Now these other settings you could go through, but I personally don't use any of these, so look through them if you'd like, but those settings I don't personally change, I just leave it as it is. So the next setting is completely, you know, optional, it doesn't actually affect Roblox itself, it's appearance. So appearance, you know, there's the steam of this, you know, block shop itself, I just leaving it at system default, it's pretty good. but. There's things that somewhat affect Roblox pretty much just when you're opening it. So here's the old Roblox logos, but you might be wondering like, what is that even used for? Well, basically I'm gonna choose the early 2015 one. It's my favorite. And August 2014. Now you're gonna see this little button here that says well, preview. Once you click that, you might recognize this, but it's basically Roblox when it's like loading and everything. Want me to make it accurate? Then I'll just do. Done for 24. Uh, this is probably accurate then. But either way, uh, this is basically when you open Roblox and it's just gonna show this. I remember this one. Uh, I don't think I had dark mode on actually, which is a crime. I know, but yeah, it's enough that, that it doesn't affect anything in Roblox, but it's a pretty nice thing to have. Kind of cool. Once you enable all the settings you like, you did the settings that I showed you, you just need to click this button down here that says install. I'm gonna show you what to do before you install, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways, so don't really worry about it. Do if you want, whatever. But hit install again, and it's just gonna install the thing. So just give it a sec, and it's gonna install all the mods that you chose into Roblox. So once you install the mods, then it's just going to automatically open Roblox and you're essentially done. As you can see, our mouse changed and also the catalog also changed to the old Roblox one, which is pretty nostalgic to me. I like this one. I'm probably going to be using this like every day. I'm just going to leave it as is. Same thing with the mouse. The new one's great, but you know, this old one was also pretty good. So I'm just going to leave this one. 
then I'm gonna show you guys the things that we changed in game. So I'm just gonna go into my private server and kind of like avatar just to show you guys. So we're in my VIP server and you guys may remember, you know, the main premise is this of the video is for me to show you how to unlock your FPS to get higher graphics. So basically click escape, go to settings. You're going to scroll down and you might be wondering, whoa, this looks a lot different. Well, that's because now there's 21 different like settings for graphics. So I'm all the way up the graphics quality. So the base was like 10, which is like around here. And now we could go all the way to 20, which makes the game look relatively better. You can't really tell too much because, you know, this game doesn't have much in it considering this map. But maybe if we switch the map. This is 10. It looks nice, but when we go all the way to 20, 21, or it looks relatively better. And I personally think that if you can handle this on your computer, go ahead. It looks really good, especially in like more realistic games. Now, the next setting that we did for in-game besides our mouse is actually the FPS. So I can't physically change this. I'm pretty sure there is a keybind to do this that but i don't really know it sorry but if you want you know just edit it in the block strap editor you can go ahead and change all settings once you download it already don't worry and i don't know if you could tell since you know i'm recording this but to me this looks a lot smoother than like normal roblox which is normally capped at 60. as you like that looks so much smoother and basically makes my fps a lot better so the shortcuts actually do shift F5 and there we go. You actually can see like we have a lot of FPS right here and before it was only allowed to get up to 60 and now we're at like 400 or something, 500, 300, I don't know. It's like going crazy but it's a lot smoother and you could definitely tell if you're on your own device. So if this helped you guys, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.